speak to political analyst Professor Mohamed Mirandi, who joins us from Tehran. Now, good to have you with us. So, first state visit by uh, an Iranian president to Iraq. What kind of agreements are you expecting Thank to you. come out of this visit? Well, I think the agreement will probably include all uh, the, all the different fields, political, economic, social, cultural. Uh, you have huge numbers of pilgrims traveling both from Iraq to Iran and from Iran to Iraq. The economic ties between the two co countries are extraordinarily important for both peoples. Uh, the, the border is 1,200 kilometers long. It's Iran's long, longest land border with any country. So obviously, uh, there, is, uh, there is much to talk about. And as uh, your, the report pointed out, the Iranian-Iraqi relationship since the downfall of Saddam Hussein has been improving dramatically on a year, daily basis, literally. Is this trip also a message to Washington that Iran still has considerable influence in Baghdad? Well, Iran and Iraq are neighbors. This is one of the extraordinary things about the regime in Washington that they think that they should have influence in this part of the world, yet they expect Iraq not to have influence in Iran, Iran not to have influence in Iraq. Uh, the United States uh, overthrew Saddam Hussein, not because they liked the Amer Iraqi people. The Americans supported Saddam Hussein, gave him chemical weapons to use against his own people, against the Iranians. I, I myself survived two chemical attacks. By, that were uh, those weapons were provided to Saddam Hussein by EU countries and the United States. Everyone in this part of the world uh, remembers quite well the role of the United States. And I think that the Iranians, the Iranians, uh, the Iraqis and the Iranians, they believe that uh, the best way to bring stability to the region is to strengthen ties. And hopefully, uh, with along with Turkey and the hope in future, if there's some sort of rapprochement between Syria and Turkey, from Lebanon to Iran, from Turkey to uh, the Arabian Peninsula, we could have a very different region, a much more prosperous region, and a region where you know, powers like the United States will have no role to play and in, to interfere in, the, in regional affairs. But in the, in the short term, Mr. Rouhani is facing considerable pressure inside Iran because of the reimposed U.S. sanctions. So how important is it that they build on these economic ties with Baghdad and with other countries in the region? Well, it's important for Iran and Iraq because if the sanctions have a, a major impact, then it hurts Iraqis just as, it, as it, much as it hurts Iranians. And I think actually what the United States is doing is that it's pushing uh, countries away from the United States. The Iran and Iraq are looking to use their own currencies, not to use the U.S. dollar. That's what Iran is now doing with the Russians, with the Chinese, with the Russians and the Chinese are also doing together. So it's changing the way trade is taking place. And in the long term, it creates greater uh, economic security. And especially since the Europeans have jumped on Trump's bandwagon to overthrow the legitimate government in Venezuela, I think that creates a stronger sense of distrust in Iran towards, towards Western countries, because the Europeans, despite their anti-Trump rhetoric in the media and among politicians, when Trump chooses some person on the street who declares himself president as the president of uh, Venezuela, then, and the Europeans uh, support this, uh, this person against the legitimate president, that makes people in Iran think even more about uh, negotiations and doing deals with the United States and the Europeans. So the nuclear deal has, has failed okay. because of the Americans and also because the Europeans have failed to stand up to the Americans. And when we look at other issues, we see that the only alternative for Iran is to turn to regional countries and uh, to non-Western countries. And I think this trip to Iraq is very much a part of that. Mohammed Mirandi, thank you very much indeed for that.